This is a lab exercise, captured on video on the topic of, Introduction to 3D Radiation Pattern Measurement, taken from the Lab 1 of the Dreamcatcher ME1310, University Courseware. We are going to measure, the 3D radiation pattern of a dipole antenna, and plot its 3D radiation pattern. To get the most out of this course, you should view this video along with the lab sheet. Please refer to the description section, for the lab sheet download link. You may want to pause this video to read the lab sheet first, before proceeding with the video stream. An antenna radiation pattern, is a representation of the field strength, or power intensity, versus the antenna, orientation angle, and it is typically demonstrated in 2D formats, which are the H-plane, and V-plane. With advancement of mobile telecommunication technology, it is crucial to measure the radiation pattern, of an antenna in full spherical format, or also known as a 3D radiation pattern. An antenna 3D radiation pattern measurement, allows us to study the antenna pattern as a whole, and helps us to relate the 2D H-plane, and V-plane radiation pattern, to the antenna's actual electromagnetic field radiation. From the 3D radiation pattern, we can see that, the plotted radiation patterns for horizontal polarization, and vertical radiation pattern, are actually a cross-section layer of the actual antenna, 3D radiation pattern. The 3D radiation pattern, is able to provide more information, such as beam efficiency, and allow us to study the full extent, of the antenna radiation intensity. In this lab session, we are going to measure the 3D radiation pattern, of a dipole antenna, by using the Dreamcatcher ME1310, antenna and propagation training kit, with a Keysight N9912A, Field Fox RF Analyzer. The ME1310, antenna and propagation training kit, consists of one transmitter module, one 360 degree rotation 3D receiver module, two 2400 MHz dipole antennas, two RF coaxial cables, one LAN cable, one Type A to Type B USB cable, two straight SMA male to SMA male adapters, one right angle SMA female to SMA male adapter. 2 N male to SM of female adapters, 1 5 volt power adapter, and a PC, with the RADPAT software installed. The Keysight N9912A, will be used to measure the S21 value of the measurement. A transmitting antenna, will be mounted on the transmitter module, and connected to port 1 of the N9912A to radiate the electromagnetic energy towards the antenna under test. The antenna under test will be mounted, on the 360 degree rotation 3D receiver module. The 360 degree rotation 3D receiver pole, can be manually rotated at a 10 degree step, which allows the 3D radiation pattern, of the antenna under test to be measured. The received signal power level of the antenna under test, will be measured by port 2 of the N9912A, and recorded by the RADPAT software. The 3D radiation pattern, will then be plotted by the RADPAT software, after all the measurements have been completed. Set up the transmitter and receiver module. Mount the transmitting dipole antenna on the top connector, of the fixed antenna holder on the transmitter module. Orientate the antenna for vertical polarization, and broadside to the other antenna under test. Mount the other dipole antenna under test on the top connector, of the rotatable antenna holder on the receiver module. Adjust the receiver pole's horizontal distance, make sure the PCB antenna is aligned to the receiver pole. Adjust the distance between the antennas to 50 cm, and ensure that, they are in the far field region. Use an RF coaxial cable, to connect the RF out connector of the N9912A, 
to the RF in connector of the transmitter module. Use another RF coaxial cable to connect the RF out connector of the receiver module to the RF in connector of the N9912A. Connect a Type A to Type B USB cable between the receiver module and PC. Connect the 5 volt power adapter to the receiver module. Connect a LAN cable between the N9912A and PC. Turn on the N9912A and 5 volt power adapter. Ensure that you calibrate the N9912A before measurement for better accuracy. You may refer to Lab 1 Appendix B for a guideline on how to perform the S11 and S21 calibration. Open the RADPAT software and press setting to configure the N9912A. Press connect to establish connection between the receiver module and PC. Enter the IP address of the N9912A. Then, set the start frequency to 2375 MHz, stop frequency to 2425 MHz, and frequency of interest to 2400 MHz. Press Configure. After the instrument setting is done, press Save and Exit. Select 3D radiation pattern, and then configure the step size to 10 degrees per step. Change the plot setting to polar. Click the play button, and a pop-up window will appear to ensure that, the antenna is located at 0 degrees by turning the knob. Click OK to proceed. The ME1310 receiver unit will rotate to measure the radiation pattern of antenna under test at 0 degrees. Once the measurement is completed, rotate the antenna to 10 degrees by adjusting the knob. Click Next to proceed. Repeat the measurement until the receiver module reaches 350 degrees.
After complete all 36 measurements, a pop-up window with the path to the recorded data will appear. Click OK. Then, press Clear All, to remove the previous measurement data. We have completed the measurement for vertical polarized transmitting antenna. Next, we will transmit with horizontal polarized transmitting antenna. Change the orientation of the transmitter's dipole antenna, to horizontal polarization. Rotate the antenna on the receiver module, back to zero degrees. Click the play button, and a pop-up window will appear to ensure that, the antenna is located at zero degrees by turning the knob. Click OK to proceed. Repeat the measurement, until the receiver module reaches 350 degrees. The pop-up window, shows the path to the recorded data. Click OK. Select 3D plot in the RADPAT software. Load the recorded files, set the decibel range to 30 decibels, and click OK to plot the 3D radiation pattern. From this experiment, we can see that, the 3D radiation pattern of the antenna, can be measured by using the Dreamcatcher ME1310 antenna and propagation training kit. From this experiment, we have completed a 3D radiation pattern measurement, for the 2400 MHz dipole antenna. However, the plotted 3D radiation pattern, may not fully match with the typical donut shape radiation pattern, of a wired dipole antenna. As the antenna under test used in this experiment, is a printed circuit board dipole antenna, the plotted radiation pattern will be slightly different from a wired dipole antenna. Also, the large step size at 10 degrees, adopted in this measurement, may not be able to present a detailed radiation pattern. An antenna radiation pattern measurement with a narrower step size, tends to provide a more detailed, and a higher resolution radiation pattern. 
However, this usually leads to long measurement times due to the number of measurement points required.